Okay, so welcome to One Look OLL. Um, earlier this week, I released a Two Look OLL tutorial, which technically does contain some One Look cases, which are just the CO cases. Um, but if you're thinking about learning One Look OLL, then you're basically guaranteed to already know all of those. Um, so that was episode zero, and this here, this is going to be episode one, the first proper episode. Um, I'm probably going to release two episodes of One Look OLL per week, each covering around about 10 cases on average, um, which means that that should average out to about three, maybe four cases per day if you're learning them at the same pace that I'm releasing them, which might sound like a pretty aggressive pace, but I think you'd be surprised if you stick with it and do, you know, plenty of training with a OLL trainer. Um, I think you'd be surprised about how manageable it is. So I'll have an OLL trainer linked down in the description, as well as every ALG that I mentioned in this video, and a link to my Megaminx ALGs document, which contains all of the OLL and PLA ALGs that I use and recommend. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Okay, so the OLL sets that we're going to cover today are sets 1, 7, 22, 24, and 28. With the exception of set 1, um, these are all basically 3x3 three three transfer sets, which means you'll know the ALG, or at least something very similar to the ALG, um, from 3x3, three three, and you'll mostly just be learning how to apply it to Megaminx. Um, set 1 is the edge-only OLLs, and I'm including those because they have super easy recognition, and they're just a one-move modification of an ALG that is a 3x3 three three transfer. So we'll cover those basic ALGs first, and then at the end of the video, we'll cover that those set one cases that are just slight modifications on the easier ALGs. So um, we're going to start with these two, which is set seven. So these are the T-shaped cases, like this. And if you've played around a little bit with like um, sort of trying out which 3 by 3 OLLs work on Megaminx, you've probably figured out both of these already, because they're both very straightforward. Um, but if not, this one here, this is Sexy Sledge, which has these two bars. And this one on the right here, this is F6, F prime. So this is 7A and this is 7B. And the finger tricks for them look like so. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. Done a bit faster. Looks like that. And this one on the right here is just F6, F prime. So this is a case that we use as an EO ALG. Um, so I showed the ALG in the two look OLL tutorial, but didn't show which exact um, OLL case it corresponded to. And it's this one, where we have no bars. And the finger trick, like I showed in the last video, or in the old, old sorry, the two look old video, is this. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, and then F prime with your thumb. Like that. So next we have set 22. These are the cases where we have this big block and one oriented corner. And so for this case on the left, 22A, we have no bars here and here. And for 22B, we do have bars here and here. So again, these are just three by three transfers. This one here is the inverse of sexy sledge, so it's just hedge, then anti inverse sexy, inverse sexy, sorry. Um, and this one on the right is just this 3 by 3 OLL. So on 3 by 3 we do that with R U2 prime, R2 prime, and then continue. Um, however, instead of doing U2 prime there, we're going to do U2 on Megaminx, because U2 and U2 prime are different moves, so we need to make sure we're doing the right one. So on Megaminx, that would look like this. From this angle, we're going to do R U2, R2 prime. F R F prime, R U two prime, R prime. So just like that. And for this case on the right, for 22B, it's just hedge inverse sexy. So that looks like this. F R prime, F prime, R, U, R, U prime, R prime. And done a bit faster. Now we have set 24, the P-shape OLLs. So we have 24A+, plus, 24A-, minus, 24B+, plus, and 24B-. minus. This is the first set where we're teaching like mirrors with the plus and minus notation. But yeah, for future, for future cases, any um, mirrors will just be named plus and minus if it's the same shape otherwise. Um, so in terms of recognizing these, it's just the same way we would do it on 3 3 So we look at the direction of the P, whether it's facing this way or the other way. And then we look at whether we have this long bar or this short bar. Um, these are all 3 by 3 transfers, although this one is an algorithm that's sort of more rarely used for this case on 3 by 3 which is just the back mirror of this algorithm. Um, so I'll show this one first and then show the back mirror, just in case you don't use this one already. So, um, starting with 24A+, this is just an ALG that I showed in the EO tutorial. Um, so it's just F inverse XEF prime. So like this. U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. So like that. For this case here, um, we're going to do it from this angle and do it RUF. So that would look like this. It's just, again, just a 3 transfer L, because you probably already know it, but it looks like this. 
r prime u prime f prime u f r. I push that f prime and u move so that I don't have to reload like that. Um, so it looks like that. Although I know some people will pull all the moves like that and just take the reloads instead. I think both are okay. If your reloads are faster, you might prefer the second execution, but if they're not, then you'll probably prefer the first one. Anyway, here I'm going to start with 24b minus. So this is again just a 3 3 elk, and it looks like this r prime u prime f u r u prime r prime f prime r. So like that. And then 24b plus. Um, again, this is a 3 by 3 transfer. Like some people use this. I think Felix might use this elk on 3 by 3 but I think most people don't. So if you don't, it's just the back mirror of that previous elk I just showed, which looks like this. r u b r prime u prime r prime u r b r r prime. So like that. <laughs> Next we have set 28. These are the equivalent of the fat anti zoom case on 3 3 right? Cases like this, which you solve with a fat anti zoom And we're going to use the same algorithms on Megaminx, but we're going to have to play with the execution a little bit, because wide moves like this really suck on Megaminx, because you're gripping the puzzle more with your whole hand like that. So you have to do a big sort of grip shift in order to um, do wide moves. So we're not going to really do them with wide moves. We're going to play with the finger trick a little bit. Um, Anyway, in terms of recognizing them, you see that for 28 plus, you have these bars on the left-hand side, like this, and for 28 minus, you have these bars on the right-hand side. So for 28 plus, the way we're going to execute it is we're going to do an X prime rotation, and then execute it with like U moves, R moves, and D moves. So it's going to look like this, X prime, and then D, R2, U prime, R prime, U, R prime, D prime. So just like that. And for 28 minus, um, we are basically going to do it with wide moves, but it's more, or the way I think about it, is more like we're doing an X prime rotation, and they're doing it L, U, and R. So that looks like this. L prime, U2 prime, R, U, R prime, U, L. Like that. And finally, we have set 1. So these are the edge-only OLLs. Um, so again, super easy to recognize for 1A here. We have two edges across from one another that need to be oriented, and in 1b we have two adjacent edges that need to be oriented. So like I said before, these are just slight modifications of 3 by 3 transfers. So for 1a, we're going to do L, and then sexy sledge, and then L prime, right? So a little bit slower, looks like that, and a little bit faster. <laughs> yeah, looks like that. Now for 1b, final case, is just literally the inverse of that one. So it's just L, hedge, inverse sexy, L prime, right? Like that.